and really the, the, the thing that keeps people from moving from a regular gas version to the hybrid is the price differential. And the more hybrids that we build, the smaller we can make that price differential. There are a few subtle design changes, including a small triangle window on the front door. The idea is to give a driver additional lines of sight. However, we found it is impossible to use considering where a driver actually sits. An external feature we did like was the repositioning of the wiper under the rear cowling, a move that protects the mechanism. In typical Lexus fashion, designers have added a lot of technology to the interior. That finally includes connectivity for iPods. But their crowning achievement is an optional remote interface unit for the navigation system. So how well does it work? Three years ago when they first told me that they were going to have a remote device, the only frame of reference I had was one from another manufacturer, which I found very difficult to use. That's a kind way of saying the Lexus system is designed to be a lot simpler than the BMW iDrive configuration. To improve the ride and handling, the RX has a new rear suspension system. It adds a little more cargo space and room for a full-size spare rather than a small donut. So, for now, Lexus is satisfied with evolutionary change in the RX. After all, in the luxury small SUV segment, these are not the times to rock the boat, well, at least not too much. This is Greg Morrison.